So these types of videos, I'm hoping to, to do live in the future. Uh, I need like a thousand subscribers before I can go live on a mobile and uh, like a mobile phone. And that's what I want to do because it's just a lot better quality and a lot easier and mobile obviously than like a laptop or a computer or that and this one is basically called why i've never sold my soul and why i never will and uh, it's, ba it's basically for me like you hear like you, uh, just take music for instance like you hear lots of stuff in music that like i've sold my soul and all this and i think bob dylan was on about it and Eminem raps about it and like Katy Perry and getting all these kind of folk, Beyonce and all different people and it is quite a thing like even actors and actresses and as there is for me there is quite a thing that uh, people that are really rich and famous they seem to look miserable and they talk about how they sold their soul and uh like, <clears throat> oh, for me, I, I've thought about this mayor since COVID and stuff, and like my eyes really been open to the world, to what was really going on. Like we were all, in my view, we were all basically living a lie. Like, like we're living a lie all our lives, or, or that's how I feel anyway. Like everything was false, and COVID showed it. It showed that we're all being lied to, and there's demonic and evil forces in the world, and. And then I look back at my life and there's moments where I technically could have sold my soul, like in quite a few different situations. And I look back at it now and see if I had, my life probably would have been a lot better, a lot easier, no better, a lot easier. And maybe I would have made a lot more money and stuff like that. But I never did. I never sold my soul in the moments. Like I took the, the opposite road. Like, where basically people try to, like, uh, attack your, your, like, your, your being, can like, your, they call, maybe call you a liar or, or try and destroy you, can where it be, like, personally, like, in your personal life or your work life, like, your career or spiritually, kind of thing. And I'm not saying I'm perfect or anything like that, far from it. I think we all struggle, like, we with different things like we we right and wrong and stuff but it's these kind of key moments even like at the covid thing when it came to like taking the, the vaccine and all that and like what happened can like it basically people like me were shunned and uh, like your life destroyed you were like an outcast because you never like injected yourself with all that crazy stuff and now it's all coming out that it was all kind of dodgy and Lots, there's lots of damage to people being done and again you never hear about it on the news maybe in parliament or the government like talk about it media just thing with the block you social media blocks you so there, there is there's a lot of different things throughout my life where it would have been easier for me just to go along with it and because i never then things got a lot harder but i'm actually quite proud of that because for me, it's it's brought me back to to the light kind of thing. I still have a lot of kind of issues and darkness and stuff. Like I say, I'm, I need to work through and work on. But it's brought me back to to the light, and it's given me like a renewal. To like before, it could be quite could be quite desperate at times. You'd think it's quite like isolating and lonely and stuff. And you think, again, yeah, I, sh I should have just went, I should have just went along with this, but then, like, I, it's just no in me, kind of thing. Just just no in me to do that. So, for me, I've, I've never sold my soul. I never will. It's basically a fighter jet flying over me there. I don't know if it's in the video or not. That was pretty cool, a fighter jet. Could be a sign, you know what I mean? I don't know. 
bit crazy. I've never seen a fighter jet before like that. But uh, back to what I'm saying. Aye, so it's like, you could sell your soul in life. You maybe think life would be easier, but it's like a shallow easiness because you've you've sold your soul. And I think in the end, because like I, like I do believe there's a spiritual, like a spiritual war going on now. Like the, the darkness seems to be winning at this point. But I think because the, the veil was, was lifted, a lot of people realising, like me, that I've been fighting the darkness all my life. So that makes me like a warrior of the light kind of thing. And that makes me proud and that gives me hope. Because that's that it just kind of confirms, like confirms to me that Although it's been a struggle throughout my life, I've never gave up, I've never sold my soul, I've never compromised on like my like my my passions or my my like uh, what do you call it? Like your comp like your your like your word Ken or, or your your being kind of thing. I've never I've made bad decisions and stuff, I but I've never compromised who I'm are, is basically what I'm saying. And I never will. And I, I didn't care how hard it would be. Also, I wish it wasn't difficult and hard. But it doesn't matter to me because I know if if all these people don't like me, then I'm doing the right thing because I'm no evil and I'm no seeking to hurt people or destroy people's lives or, or anything like that. So that just confirms to me that I'm fighting on the right side. I'm fighting for the light. I'm fighting for for humanity. I'm fighting for God. I'm fighting for us, kind of thing. And that's something to be quite proud about, in my view. So that's that's my wee take on. I'll never sell. I've never sold my soul, and I never will. And I know there's plenty of people like me out there because I watch them all on YouTube all the time. It's kind of what inspired me to start making the YouTube and stuff. Because you do, you think you're isolated and you're alone. But you're not. There's lots of people like us. And uh, it's just a case now of uh, uh, getting us to get the community, like building a community kind of thing and getting together and talking about it. And there's, uh, there's already communities all sprung up since, especially COVID, because that was a terrible time for a lot of people. And... Even that, <clears throat> like, like they they basically just put the fear of death into everybody, and make, go everybody to make really bad decisions and compromise, like their spiritual being and who they are, and maybe even sell their soul. A few of them, or the people in the media, just telling utter lies to people. You're going to kill Granny. You're going to kill Granda, and all this and. You'd not to speak to anybody, not to see anybody and stuff. Again, it was all just while well, they're all partying. <laughs> Get what I mean? So it's just like that is pure evil and darkness. And again, nothing done about it. So I'll never sell my soul to anybody like that. The devil, the government, any of these, let me know what I swear, but fuckers. And that's not going to be happening. And I'm proud of you if you've never either. And I'd love to hear for you. I'd love to hear your story. But like I say, these ones I'm going to do live. And it'll just be me out and about in places and just talking about different things, probably like my experiences or whatever. Yeah. Like I say, I'm lucky I stay in a country like this. But obviously it's the government that's the issue. They, they're ruining the country. But I tend to find that most people in Scotland are pretty sound in that and uh, quite a lot of them because I've met a lot of them have never sold their soul and never will they're maybe just a bit scared to to stick their head up above the what do you call it above the, the pool pit or whatever in case they get shot <laughs> but uh, does they matter I don't care anywhere I just again I'm speaking the truth I'm speaking my truth and like I say, I've never sold my soul and I never will. And for me, the war will continue on. Uh, and that's it, basically. But again, like I say, I'll be doing them 
live hopefully when I get to a thousand subscribers and if you've got a similar story just let me know in the comments and share your story as well and uh, I'll catch you in the next one.